Today in class we're going to tackle the difficulties of the essay. Uh, specifically we're going to look at trying to find credible resources and also organizing your citations uh, so that your paper can be well-rounded and, uh, and complete. Uh, now there's a definite struggle in trying to find uh, usable material uh, information and, and uh, such in your papers. Uh, it's important to find the keyword terms or keywords of the essay assignment. Uh, my examples here, let's say you're writing one on Henry David Thoreau. Well, Thoreau, Walden, Concord, Transcendentalism, Great American Authors, all those would be good. And it's also just to remember, uh, good to remember that um, a good essay is written in, sa written in stages, um, you know, with the uh, research first. So let's look at that. Well, how to recognize a good web-based web -based source? Uh, potentially credible resources, of course, are ones that end in edu or gov, uh, either educational or government websites. Uh, generally, always find nice, substantial information there. Sometimes org can be, but you really need to check yourself um, and then make sure that it's a credible resource. Dot coms are not always bad. Um, take, for example, newspaper articles, but you should be be wary. Now, using the internet, uh, with the keywords that you have graphs from your uh, assignment, uh, it's uh, good to now uh, try to locate uh, the proper or the best uh, search engine. And we'll look at Google, we'll look at Ask.com, we'll look at Clusty uh, and Cart2. Uh, there are many others like that. Don't freak out. Everything's going to be okay. We'll get through this together. Now, Google.com, the all-purpose search engine, um, generally find too much information, uh, and sometimes not exactly what you're looking for, but you can always find a wealth. Uh, for instance, let's type in the words Thoreau and Walden, and uh, show me how many hits you get. Uh, oh, well, you can also redefine your search uh, and see what other kind of hits you get. All right, let's move on to slide six. Now, ask.com uh, is a very uh, handy website, uh, search engine, I should say, uh, that allows you to phrase your search, um, or phrase a question for your search. Uh, my example is, how do you do that thing you do so well? Of course, that's not going to get you too much, but if you type in, how did Thoreau come to write Walden, you'll, you'll more than likely find someone or something out there that can give you some sort of insight. Um, fun to play around with. Try it out. Now, Clusty is pretty cool. Uh, with this uh, search engine, what you get, uh, you can see there through the picture, are uh, clusters, uh, uh, several related sources or subjects about your key term. Uh, as you can see, I typed in Thoreau, influence, and the word Gandhi. And you can see all the different uh, uh, clusters, uh, as the name says, uh, of information that you get there. Search through all of them. Now, CAR2, this is something that you'll have to play around with. It's a visually based uh, type cluster, I guess. It's a, sort of a variation on Clusty. But what it does is it allows you to see um, where some of your keywords come into relation um, to other topics, and that may lead you into very interesting um, parts of your research and new avenues that you didn't see possible the first time around. Try it out. It's very effective. Now, uh, these are just a few helpful points uh, for allowing you more ease in locating web research. Like I said, it's important to play around and get a, a handle on uh, the research game, uh, trying to find credible resources. It's a, it's a challenge at first. It can be. But uh, as with everything, uh, practice makes perfect. And uh, the more you do it, the better at it you will get. So let's move on to number 10 here, slide 10. Now, this is a handy way uh, to make a citation simple. Um, forget your MLA or your APA handbook. Uh, what we're simply going to do and what got me through college um, is allowing the Internet a handy, handy program uh, to do this hard work for you. And in most cases, it will always be complete uh, and won't cost you any uh, at the end of your essay. So here we go. This is my example. It's called... Citation Machine, actually son of Citation Machine. Uh, go to Google, search for Citation Machine. Uh, it'll take you right there. You can choose your format. You fill in the blanks and submit. No worries. 
no headaches. It's all done. Thank you much. That's the end of my presentation, and I appreciate your time. Have a good day.